Hi, we've got several things going on here today in the Super Peel test kitchen. One thing I'd like to show you is our new uh, long handle Super Peel for wood fired ovens and uh, also can be used in some of the gas fired ovens like the Blackstone. Uh, we're going to be using it in our kitchen here in our home oven which we've got a special method going on, kind of a modified broiler method to get the, suit, the uh, baking stone extra hot and cook our pizza extra Set up. fast. Here we've got uh, our baking stone which is on the top rack under the broiler and we're actually preheating it with just the broiler running and the oven door open so that keeps the element from cycling on and off and it stays on most of the time and we've preheated the oven for just a little over an hour and the baking stone surface temperature is about 720 to 740 degrees and we're going to be using the uh, the super peel to slide our pizza in on the baking stone and we're going to bake it with the oven broiler on and the door of the oven open. Okay we've got about a 13 inch or 14 inch round here and we're just going to make the standard sauce um, some mozzarella and a little bit of chorizo sausage to go on this today so give it a little spice it up a little bit. I really like the, uh, the long handled uh, wood fired oven, oven peel for use in the uh, in the kitchen because it's it gives you a lot of reach and you can really see what you're doing. Uh, it's a lot easier to use, I think, than the uh, the standard super peel. Works just the same. Um, you can easily pick up and move your pizza around uh, as many times as you'd like to. If you want to make sure that it's uh, definitely not sticking. You shouldn't have any problem with a little bit of flour rubbed into the peel and uh, should be good to go. And we'll just top this off with a little fresh grated Romano. And while I'm at it, I'm thinking maybe just a little bit of oregano. Okay, now, probably a good idea just to pick up any small pieces of cheese or other things that may have gone off the edge. And I can show you how this works. Um, it's got a slide on the handle. Allows you to uh, move the belt forward and back. So you rest right in your hand. And we just can come right up to the pizza. And lift it right up. And you see nothing sticking down. We can set it back down again until we're ready to go in the oven. So we're just about ready. The, it's fully preheated now to over 700 degrees. Okay, got you right down here at oven level. And uh, you, you could reach straight in there with the peel, but it's a little bit easier. If you want to just slide your stone out a little bit, a little easier access to it. And we'll be filming this thing in real time now. So again, place it exactly where you want it and reverse the peel and set it right in the stone. And we'll just slide that right back in there. And watch this puppy take off. Okay, set the timer for about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So we've been in the oven for about 30 seconds already. And you can see that we're just a little more than a minute into the bake. The 
it's already starting to brown. It's starting to puff up nicely. The cheese is all melted down and starting to bubble. And that's just about two minutes right now. Starting to get some nice char on the crust. And that is under two minutes. Okay, and there is our two minute and 45 second pie cooked in your home oven. As you can see, we've got beautiful char. Uh, that's could be even a little bit past done, but it looks beautiful to me. I like that uh, little bit of black char in there. We'll take a look at the bottom. And it's beautifully charred on the bottom as well. So I hope you found it interesting and um, to realize that you can actually cook a pizza in under three minutes in your home oven using this method. And this uh, it really adds a lot to the flavor. The faster you cook your pie, the better. And um, again, we got to temperatures of about 725 degrees on the baking stone. And um, again, under three minutes, beautiful pie. So, bon appetit. Try this method. I think you're going to like it. You can modify it a little bit to suit your, uh, your own oven settings and uh, the way things work out. It's, um, what you're trying to do is get a balance between the high heat on the oven stone and the high temperature of the broiler baking method and I think this works out just about perfect. And char on top, nicely charred on the bottom.